great beings of light. The Piscataqua and Sokoki people showed me through the feeling of what it feels like to walk in reverent participatory relationship with the soul of the earth and with love in every step. And uh, it was such a gift to be able to feel that and know that at, the, at a deeper level than I've ever known it before. I mean, the funny part was the very beginning with biodiversity because it was about uh, honoring all life forms, but specifically, this is from in my backyard, specifically the rats and aphids. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, please, I know. <laughs> this property has been newly landscaped, had to be all dug up uh, for reasons of water management. And, and so it's not yet in right relationship in the, in the new ecosystem. And so some things are out of balance. And it was a perfect example that was very personal to me about how to, uh, you know, focusing on the restoration of that balance and asking in reverence who, you know, who needs what and so on. Um, yeah, so practicing that reverence and calling in the harmony, just calling in the harmony because we don't necessarily know what that is where we've disturbed um, land. I was curious as why Mount, Mount Auraki showed up today. Well, showed me harmony and balance in the Earth's crust. I could see where it was, that balance was, um, and our need to bring consciousness to where and how we remove minerals from the Earth for our use. So, um, for example, where we've where we discover a, a rich um, vein of copper, not to take all the copper that is there, uh, not the all the available copper. We need to spend time asking for discernment to be shown, um, which, even for the minerals, you know, very important, which should be removed and which must stay, for the benefit of the whole and then respect the reply. I'm having a lot of trouble with my eyes for the past year and a half. And so what was happened is I just, I went under the surface of the sea and I, I saw all the creatures, the diversity of all the creatures that have eyes. And so, and this octopus came to me with these wonderful eyes. And so he, he was, uh, or she was um, the representative of eyes as the collective. I ended up really feeling a level of um, trusting these eyes under the sea, trust that they that they would that they would die if it was needed, knowing that it was a part of the evolutionary unfolding. The Council of Mirror Grove, they described it as being a holographic expression of the source of all life. They added to that was that as we, um, as we honor and nurture this within ourselves, that will be reflected back to us by life around us. It cannot be otherwise. I did hear some additional messages about, um, I'm sorry, about things dying off. And for me, I had a lot of loss recently. So I didn't want to receive that part of the message. I felt like, oh, that's just you and your emotions. That's what's going on with you in your real life. But then when I saw that Aaliyah write something about you have hearts and you have to die and things have to die in order to change. And then someone else wrote it and I think Linda did too. I was like, oh my God, that was a part of the message. It was a reminder for me not to resist what I hear just because I think it's something relative to my current life. The message is the message and I need to learn to more trust the message no matter what it says. 
I mean, with no Copila, I mean, why she just was this thing about humans need to feel the full range and the diversity of their emotions. And I was like, yeah, okay, you know, but it's like, what has that got to do with? Well, I don't really know. But well, the other piece of it that I received was about the mystery, how critical it is for us to include the mystery and to revere mystery, because that creates the conditions in us to be open, to be humble and to be open to new ideas and to, and to the wisdom of others. And the pine tree people were just longing for deeper connection, for longing for acknowledgement. And um, I could feel that as well. And I can relate to that because many of us <laughs> need that. I mean, it's part of life. It's part of living with a heart. Hear us now. Feel our love. Oh, great life force of the universe.